Okay, fantastic. This is part two, and I said, well, one of the most important things about Pythagoras' theorem is, is that you are able to identify the hypotenuse, okay? Where the hypotenuse is the longer side of a right angle triangle, and that's the one across the 90 degree angle, okay? So yes, Pythagoras' theorem equal is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the hypotenuse. This is what I said in my previous video. Make sure you have seen it. I'm just gonna draw some right angle triangles uh, or it's a sketch, yeah? So, please, I'm gonna rotate it a little bit to help myself. And, like that. And, uh, okay, let, let, let's do one more. Okay. Now, let's call that A, B, and C. What I want you to do is I want you to identify the hypotenuse for these four triangles. Yeah? So these are four questions. Which side is the hypotenuse? Because C is the hypotenuse. That's what you have to identify and uh, tell yourself every time. The A and B don't really matter. Yeah, A squared plus B squared is the same as B squared plus A squared. As long as you have that hypotenuse identified. Okay, so you can pause the video now, find the hypotenuse, and I hope you've done that. So I'm gonna continue now. Uh, so I hope you have tried this yourself. So really always, when we're calculating lengths in right angle triangles and we use Pythagoras' theorem, take a minute, well not a minute, but take some time to identify the hypotenuse. Where's my 90 degree angle? It's here. So that is my C, that is the hypotenuse. And this could be A and that B, or the other way around, as long as you identify the hypotenuse. This right angle triangle, which side is the hypotenuse? Well, this is my 90 degree angle across it. So that's the hypotenuse. That is my C. We can call this A. We can call that B. Doesn't matter. Question C, 90 degree angle. Which side is opposite? That's that one. That makes it the hypotenuse. Let me write it down again. Hypotenuse, yeah? That's the longer side in the right angle triangle. That's the that side across the 90 degree angle. Now, when you get this question, and they, you are asked to calculate the length, and in the near future you will be asked this question, but what is the hypotenuse? It doesn't have a hypotenuse, because you know that Pythagoras' theorem only applies to right angle triangles, yeah, right angle triangles with one angle of 90 degrees, and then we have a hypotenuse, that's that side across the 90 degree angle. Well, if I don't have a 90 degree angle, if I do not have a right angle triangle, I do not have a hypotenuse, Mr. Pythagoras is out of the window. I can't use Pythagoras' theorem in this case, okay? Always ask yourself that question. Is it a right angle triangle? Yeah, what is the hypotenuse? All right, um, I'll see you at the next video where I'm going to prove a squared plus b squared equals c squared and make sure that after that video you have a look at my example question. All right, see you later.